starting at verse 9. Wherefore God also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That's right. That at the name of Jesus every knee <coughs> should bow of the thing in heaven and the things in the earth Amen. and the things under the earth. Amen. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I just want to say to us thusly today, there's something about that man. There's something about that man. You can't make it a witness. Let us pray. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, it's again that we come before you. Lord God, I pray now that the words of my mouth and the meditation of all of our hearts will be acceptable in thy sight. For it's in the name of Jesus we do pray and we ask it all. Amen. Amen. And amen. I believe that when we look at the Christmas story and how we look at it over and you know, one of the scriptures that always catch me is the fact that God having interrupted the life of Mary and of Joseph, that she would be the mother of Jesus. And not only did he interrupt them, he, their marriage, but he also renamed the baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody? Mm -hmm. For he said that to Mary that she was waiting <laughs> for her firstborn. And that she would name him Jesus. For he would save his people from their sin. All right. Hebrew name was said would be Emmanuel, which being interpreted means God with us. I want us to know that. A name is not something that we often pay a whole lot of attention to. Uh, I'm not meddling in anybody's business, hopefully, but whatever you name your child, it all of us means something. All right. Uh, it all of not just be something that you ain't never heard. Because a lot of times, if you ain't never heard it, you don't know what it means. Amen. Sometimes we don't we, we don't we don't understand that uh, the name bears a likeness. Amen. That that if we're not careful, that you can name your child something that belongs to the devil just because it sounded good. Y'all might want to pray with me. I'm gonna pray with you. All right. All right. You picked up a, a couple of syllables and put them together. 
together, it sounds like something, and some of your kids may not ever graduate only because they couldn't spell their own name. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, that's, that's why so many, so many of us uh, will give a, a child a, a name of my alone and then have to call them by a nickname. Just for them. <laughs> Amen. Y'all y'all know it. Y'all y'all know it's true. Amen. I remember it, it, it just seemed like that that, that parents of old uh, were more cautious about what they named their child. Am I right about it? Y'all not right about it. Uh, they were more cautious about uh, what they named the child because they knew that that child was, 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 was going to have a name. That name would follow them, amen, their whole life. Amen. Y'all might as well pray. Right. And, 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 and so it is that, 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 that we were, I don't know about y'all, but I know that where I'm from, we were, we were always taught that uh, you ought to be concerned about your name. Amen. Because I want you to know that folks may not know where you live, they may not know where you're from, amen. amen. May not know where you're going, but they'll know your name. Amen. You know, uh, coming up, there were certain folk, amen, that, 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 that you just heard their name and you just left them alone, amen. All right. Praise God, somebody, because they had a reputation amen. that went along with their name, amen. amen. I'm going to tell the truth right now. I was never the baddest fella in the community. But somehow my name got put in there. My name got put out there. My name got put out there that I was bad, amen? And because they, they, they put out that on the rest of me, amen, huh? It also protected my girlfriend at that time. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. Your name ought to mean something. Amen. Your name ought to mean something. That, that, that when folk hear your name, or, or folk will associate your name with something good. Your name, your name will carry you from one place to another. Amen. There was a time that when the younger men or younger women uh, got ready to go get some credit somewhere, uh, you could, uh, some of the older folk would just say, just tell them I told them to look out for you. Amen. All right. Then Mr. James said, Amen. Huh? All right. And it was just something about just using that name. All right. You could get anything that you want. All right. Praise God. Somebody ought to hear Amen. The name was, was, was so important is, is that uh, you just didn't go somewhere and use somebody's name. However, there were those who would forge somebody's name. Can I get a witness? Amen. Huh? Because you knew that you understood that using his or her name off the weekly list. All right. Some names folk did not even question. Amen. I remember that there were folk that knew me a long time as you Mr. Eels of Dunlap, son. Right. And because I was Mr. Eels of Dunlap, son, I never had a problem with gaining your book. All right. The name, the name ought to mean something. All right. And so it is that when we understand that our God is not just a nameless God, amen. Our God is a not just a God that's without a name, amen, but he is and he, he was and he shall be, amen, right. in the days to come. Amen. And Paul was writing to the church in that Philippi, All amen, right. and instructing them, amen, concerning Jesus, uh -huh. amen. He was instructing them on how it is that we ought to treat one another. All right. He said that we ought to love one another as Christ has loved us. Amen. Amen. Somebody may even wonder how is it that Christ has loved us. Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Amen. Because he loved us, not because of, but he loved us oh, in spite of. Amen. Right. I wonder why, though, if we could just love each other in spite of, in spite of our shortcomings, in spite of the fact that I may not be what you think I ought to be, but you're going to love me 
in a way. I may not come from where you think I ought to come from, but you're going to love me anyway. I may not to do what you think I ought to do, but you're going to love me anyway. Thought it not robbery, amen. The Lord thought it not robbery not to be equal with God. All right. Sometimes we can't get the work of the Lord done because we feel like we haven't been given just in the day. All right. Uh, so I dare not stand up here and go to call him for his name. Amen. Well, he didn't call my name. I don't care how little you've done. Amen, somebody. But if we go to call his name, you want to make sure what? That my name was called. Amen. And so it is that, that we are to gain the understanding. Amen. That the the writer says, amen, that he writes to the church at Philippi that the name of Jesus is not just any name, amen. Jesus did not make his own name a reputation, amen. Y'all ought to hear me, amen. Sometimes we get so concerned about our own reputation, we all sometimes forget about the fact that aside from the Lord, I am nobody. I want y'all to know that I realize that if it had not been for the Lord that was on my side, I might still be out there in the world bullying somebody. Or I might have met up with a bigger bully than I was and would be under the earth instead of on the earth. You ought to be careful about your name. Amen. Good God Almighty, somebody. The word says that has been declared that the angels in heaven has to call on the name of Jesus. The angels must declare that he is Lord of Lord, that he is King of Kings, that he is Alpha and he's Omega, that he's the first and he's the last, he's the beginning and he's the end. He is what was, he is what is, and he is what shall be. That at the name of Jesus, that everything on the earth is going to have to acknowledge that he's Lord of Lord, he's King of King. Satan has got to acknowledge that he's Lord of Lord, he's King of King. Good God Almighty, oh Lord, somebody ought to help me. What you're going through. I don't care what it seems like. But if you put your hands in the natural hand, if you trust him and not doubt, I don't know about you, but I'm going to stand on the name of Jesus. I don't care what my doctor says.
I want y'all to know that good God Almighty, that's a name that Wells Fargo that they can give me a loan, but they can't do me like Jesus. Good God Almighty, see the Pastor Pete, praying they got the best matches, but they can't guarantee me a good night's sleep.
work. I asked this tablet. I put in the same information. What is it about the same Jesus that makes Dennis McLean, that 3148 Highway 97, share South Carolina, who he is? All right. All right. Well, work it out. All right. All right. <laughs> I want y'all to know something. Not only did this one dollar tablet and Dollar General give me give me an answer, give me a answer, but he gave me twenty six answers. All right, all right. A. He is my all and my all. All right. Come on now. Come on. B. He is the best thing. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. To me. Can I get a witness? Go ahead, preacher. C. He is my counselor. Come on, preacher. B. He is my my deliverer. Yeah. All right. He, uh, he is uh, yeah. my everything. Come on, preacher. Yeah. He is uh, my friend. Yeah. Good God, my friend. Uh, yeah. He is uh, my God. Yeah. He, uh, ah, 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 he ah. is uh, Come on, preacher. Because my hope uh, is built uh, Somebody say 
Jesus.
Oh, oh, oh.